Follow my lane, hey, yeah. you ain't overlooked, yeah, yeah. so get out the way. Hey, yeah. I gave you the book, what, what? I gave you the game. Uh, the boy got a cook, yeah, yeah. the boy got a flame, yeah. Serving in the kitchen like a Nino. Plenty bitchin', whipping different flavors like a bistro. Kick it, dip it, flip it, keep it hunting like a C note. Switch it, keep it pimping every single place that he go. I got it. Lathan got the flame, Lathan got the flame. Boy, you know the name, get up out the way. Lathan got the flame, Lathan got the flame. Stay up out the kitchen if you ain't the one that's whipping, huh? Hey, yo, Lathan, man, cook them boys up something real quick, man. What's going on, Bistro family? And welcome back to my channel. Now, today, I'm going to show you guys how to skin a salmon fillet. So, the first thing you want to do is get you a good boning knife. Um, this here is one of the best boning knives I've ever had. Um, I'll link it down below for you guys. But, first thing you want to do is get you a good boning knife and then place your fillet onto your cutting board on top of some paper towels because you want to dry this thing off as, com as good as possible. Um, and the reason being is you don't want it to slip while you're working with it. So if it's drier, the drier the better. Uh, it'll avoid from the fish slipping and you um, possibly cutting yourself. So once you got um, the salmon all dried off, go ahead and transport um, it from the um, paper towel onto the directly onto the cutting board. And then we're gonna begin to um, take the skin off of this thing. So the first thing you wanna see me do is um, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna start at the tail end, so I'm just getting it situated. And you're gonna sacrifice a little bit of the tail meat, but just a little bit um, to get a good cut. So you see I'm going up about a, a little under an inch uh, from the tail, and that's just gonna give me some room there. And also I'm gonna put a hole in the center of the piece I went through, and that's before I can stick my finger in there and have a grip of the salmon. So the salmon skin is so um, tough that um, you you can kind of grip the skin and begin to fillet it. So once I get that done, I'm gonna have a knife go up under and I'm gonna just saw a little bit of the meat with the knife just to get a good grip on it. And then after that, I'm no longer moving the knife. I'm pretty much just pulling the skin. So. Now you see me just pulling the skin and letting the knife do the work. So when you get this, get to this step, you want to make sure you have a good sharp knife and your knife is going to do the work. All you're doing is pulling the skin. So you see me wiggling the skin. I'm not moving the knife at all. I'm just moving the skin and the skin is pretty much guiding the fish and cutting um, the skin off of the fish. And the best way to do this is to avoid having any meat on your skin. Sometimes you will have a little meat. I actually had a little meat on there, but you wanna try not to have meat on that skin. So make sure you angle that knife down. Like I said, the skin is pretty tough, so you don't have to worry about cutting through the meat. So once we get that part done, we're gonna go ahead and separate this into the portions that you would like. Um, I'm using the belly and all. Um, I got a video where I filleted a salmon before when I took the belly off and just did the sirloin piece of the salmon. I'll link that down below for you can check that out. But this right here is just utilizing the whole salmon for this recipe. And so next up, we got some uh, Papa Dome um, Black Fish Magic. Um, this is the black in the season. This is the most incredible black in the season ever invented. And we got some canola oil there, by the way. But yeah, this is the most incredible black in the season ever, um, ever invented. By the way, uh, Chef Paul introduced black in the season into the world. Um, it was already a, a cultural thing in New Orleans, but he introduced it to the world. And so for that, we're going to give him his kudos. Um, long live Chef. He passed away a couple years back, but just showing the impact that he had on our culture. So what we did was I added about um, three tablespoons of oil. And then to that three tablespoons of oil, I added two tablespoons of that blackening seasoning. Now, this here is gonna be my marinade and I'm not fully blackening this um, fish, by the way. I'm just giving it a little essence of seasoning if I can sear it off. If I was blackening this, I probably would have dipped the whole fish into the blackening seasoning. But the thing with blackened fish is sometimes it smoke your house up. And I went looking for those very strong flavors of that blackening seasoning. All I wanted to do was um, enhance the fish a little bit and get me a good sear. So I used this blackening seasoning today. How about I would use like a slap your mama or um, uh, your own blackening seasoning. 
And if you want me to show you a video on how I make my black in the season, I would. But for the sake of this video and paying kudos to Chef Papa Dome, I just used um, what the black in the season that I was first introduced to and what made me love black in the season. And so this is just from the horse's mouth. So once you get that mixture mixed up, we're gonna go ahead and begin to dunk our fillets in here. And once we dunk our fillets in here, we're gonna let them hang out in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes. I went for two hours just to get a good marinade and have that black in the seasoning down um, throughout the fillet. So go ahead and get all those fillets rubbed in to that black in the seasoning and get it into a bowl to marinate. So once we get them all marinated, well, once we get them all dunked into um, this black in the seasoning, we're gonna pop them in a bowl and um, then pop them into the refrigerator and let them hang out for 30 minutes to two hours, like I said. So yeah, go ahead and dunk every last one of them. Um, a good filet of fish, um, nice size portions. You should get about six, seven filets. I forgot how many I got for this um, fish here. You're gonna have for some end cuts too, but I went ahead and filleted them as well and then became chef's next while I was cooking. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead and get them all marinated. And once you get them all marinated, you see I got them there. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the top on here and then I'm gonna pop them directly into the refrigerator. Now, after two hours, we're gonna go into a pot pan and you see how I'm um, dropping that fish in the pan. I did go on with a little canola oil in the pan medium um, low heat and then i'm just dropping the fillets away from me so if the oil splatter it'll splatter away from me and not on me and when black in the seasoning you always want to go medium low heat um because i said like i said um black in the seasoning will smoke your house up and also those herbs and spices inside black in the seasoning if you go too high of a heat they tend to burn so you want to always want to watch that but while fillets are um cooking I'm gonna go ahead and begin to baste the backside here in just a second because I wanna cook about 90% of the way on the flesh side and and that's our presentation side and then I'm gonna cook 10% on the back side. So you'll see me um, beginning to um, just spoon over the hot oil on the back of the salmon and I'm cooking the salmon to temperature. Um, I went about medium on the salmon but you see me spooning the hot oil on the back of the salmon, just uh, helping the back side of the salmon cook. So when I flip it over, like I said, I'm only cooking the 10% of the way on that side, and that'll prevent your salmon from getting dry and overcooked um, because nobody loves overcooked salmon. Who loves dry salmon? I don't. So, and salmon is like a steak. Let me, let me go back to that. Salmon is like a steak where you can't eat salmon to temperature. Some people actually eat salmon raw. Um, it's pretty much your preference, but salmon is a fish. It's a red fish, so you can eat it um, to temperature. So um, salmon, steelhead trout, fish like that, um, you can eat those fish to temperature. White fish, you want to kind of cook those all the way through. Um, but yeah, you see I'm flipping it now, and I'm going to go ahead and do that same spoon over method on this side just to give it a little more color because we're only going to 10% of the way on this side and you don't want to flip it again. You want to just do two flips on this salmon and let the residual heat cook it up. So once this get ready, I'm going to go ahead and pop it to the side. But like I said, 10% of the way on this side and we're just going to spoon over that delicious oil. Um, it's already flavorful from all that black in the seasoning. So we just basted the salmon in its own juices. Uh, contrary to popular belief, if you had the skin on, um, you would do the same thing. Some people like to add um, butter to the skin of the salmon, but the thing about butter and salmon is it will get that salmon soggy and won't keep it crispy. So make sure um, if you're using skin side and you want that skin to remain crispy, just continue to use that oil. Do not use butter because it will become soggy. And you see my salmon is at a perfect medium there. And we're gonna go ahead and set that aside. Let it rest for five minutes while we get our um, plate, while we get it plated. And so with this here, I used um, my um, Alfredo recipe and I linked that in a video down below. And I just added some of that blackening seasoning to it um, just to get those blackening spices and seasonings throughout the whole meal. Like I said, I didn't want this video to be too long. And the whole purpose of this video was to teach you how to butcher, but I just gave you a recipe along the way. So if you want that good Alfredo recipe, check in the description box below. And so on top of that pasta, uh, we're going to place our salmon. And then shout out to um, Chef Teasy or Chef Terrence. 
uh, from uh, Chef Express uh, Mobile Cafe. Uh, he got the, I mean, the um, persuasion pasta dish, and it is so good, man. Like, it is phenomenal. And he always finished with uh, fresh tomatoes and um, fresh scallions. And me finishing with fresh tomatoes is me paying homage to him, man. Great chef in the city of Chattanooga, doing a lot of great things, man. And I shout out to you, bro. But yeah, there you have it, man. The most amazing, um, I guess we're going to call this the um, um, Black and Salmon. Um, from the bistro like i said chef um, paul padon uh, he was the inspiration behind this salmon dish here and um the whole concept about this uh, recipe here was to show you guys how to butcher a salmon uh, but then you got a free recipe at the end of it too so yeah man there you have it the most amazing um black and salmon on top of the pasta all the other videos will be linked in the description box below so you can check out them videos and since you're here just check out the channel i want to say thank you guys for checking out the bistro um you guys are truly amazing we over 2,000 subscribers over 70,000 views on my videos 70,000 my biggest video is like 28,000 man i couldn't do this without y'all i want to thank you guys so much for checking out this video and being on this journey with me and always, 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 I want to thank you guys for joining in with me. And like, comment, share, subscribe. Please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Share this page with your friends if you like it, man. Yeah. Thank you guys for checking this video out. Like, comment, share, subscribe. The most amazing Black and Salmon from the Bistro. I'm out.